All right, my friends, this is my version of my MAME. It started off as a project for my son, my oldest son, for his birthday. Okay, and I use a marquee that I made, Arcade Classics. I really like the uh, logo. Um, but let's fire it up. I'm using the Hyper Launch, and it really took me a long time to figure out how to script this. It's all scripting language, so I have a button here that powers it up. Right below that, I have a volume control that I can turn off or turn back on. Okay, and then when I push the button, it actually powers up and lights up everything here, as you can see. Light up uh, control panel, all handmade. And then it's booting into a computer using HP Invent. I modified the, the script to load, so it's not gonna say loading up or starting up Windows. It actually says starting up an arcade with a Nintendo logo flipping. So big shout out to the guy on YouTube that uh, showed this. His explanation I believe was in Spanish or Portuguese, I can't really tell what language it was, but um, I was able to modify that. I still got to hide the Windows uh, loading icon. As you can see, it's loading up right into Hyperspin. And what you just saw before drop that window, that was the um, X Patter. I purchased X Patter because it allows me to control profiles. As you can see, I gotta disable my uh, my team viewer. But regardless, you can see that I'm using the control totally hands off. Besides, uh, there's no keyboard. I got it. I got it dialed in. Let me turn down the volume. I have it dialed in so that uh, when you go into the system, okay, this is this is enter. Player one is enter. Um, and then the coin portion that I use for name is uh, is exit. So let's go in. Let's go to pick a game. Arcade class, or rather a system. Arcade classics. Enter. And here you got your your games. So let's go to Lady Frog, right? Enter the game. There we go, boot up sequence. And then we can, now it changes the profile to a different profile using XPatter to be able to add coins and uh, start the game. So let's add coins. And then start the game. There you go. Oh, killed my frog. Okay, so a um, couple things. I also programmed player two for my pinball action to be the outside. This is uh, also if I'm not in in pinball, the way the way main acts is that this is enter rather this is exit back here. So the left hand side for my pinball is exit. So I, I can also exit using the buttons on the side because these remember these are disabled now to. Uh, to hyperspin. So as soon as I hit the exit button, it's going to exit this game. We're back in hyperspin, and then the new profile for X pattern gets updated, so that I can still move up and still select and exit here. So I'm going to exit out of this system, and there you go. So it took me a while to figure out how to program this. It's not the most simplest thing, but um, you know, using X pattern made it really simple with. Um, with hyperspin as long as uh, you understand scripting language and you're good to go so um, this is uh, this is my meme setup okay um, a lot of systems in here I got to go through and test out all the programming on each one but so far I got all the arcade classics uh, set up so you know you can go in here and uh, start that Uh, let's see. Let's go to everybody's favorite one. So let's go to Street Fighter. Enter there.
thousands of games, guys. I don't think I'll ever have time to play all these, but it's always good to have someone come over and say, hey, do you have this game? And, and pull it right up. So... I used to have an error show up because autosave does not work on some games. So I went ahead and turned off auto sip inside uh, auto save inside of the uh, main script. Okay, so. Alright, let me skip through these. Okay. I probably should have gone from T to uh, S. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff in here. I still haven't gotten used to all the controls either, like uh, how to skip through games, but. Um, Someone asked me about Stargate. This is kind of cool. So very much like Defender. Um, Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha 2. So check out the gameplay. Start. No, uh, this main version is compiled so that you don't have to move the, the stick back and forth. Okay, it took me a while to figure out how to do that. Um, and then, as you can see, it goes right into the game. So let's add some quarters. Start the game. Player one. There you go. Kind of hard to play this game with one hand. <laughs> anyway, hours of fun. It's always good to get your mind off work and uh, de-stress. So there you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you. Uh, program everything not using the key computer keyboard when you exit the game pa -pa. <clears throat> um, really happy the way this system came out for being my first main conversion I took an old arcade system I found on Craigslist cleaned it up and then recreated my own board okay bought this board and then I uh, had to buy some tools to make the holes for each button but um, you know this is a fun project and definitely a lot of patience this is probably since October so we're now in February and I finally figured out how to uh, program it so I don't have to use a keyboard to uh, to get this going so if it helps anybody um, feel free to comment below subscribe and then uh, ask some questions I'll be glad to assist you in the, with the tools I did but uh, don't ask me to go program it for you because <laughs> it's a pain. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Bye.